Hi again, welcome to Creativity Club. I'm Adele, and today we're going to be learning about one of the fundamentals of theater, Greek theater. So in ancient Greece, people often told stories to entertain and educate one another. But since most people couldn't read, these stories were passed on through word of mouth or performed on stage. Aesop, a slave in ancient Greece, was a storyteller, a master storyteller. His stories, called fables, were told for hundreds of years before people ever wrote them down. His fables were short tales that taught important truths about human nature. Aesop's fables often used animal characters that behaved like humans to teach a moral or a lesson. Today I'm going to read to you one of Aesop's fables that you probably have heard before or heard of before or heard a form of before, but we're going to delve a little bit deeper into it. The hair and the tortoise. A hare was making fun of the tortoise one day for being so slow. Do you ever get anywhere? He asked with a mocking laugh. Yes, replied the tortoise. And I get there sooner than you think. I'll run you a race and prove it. The hare was much amused at the idea of running a race with the tortoise, but for the fun of the thing, he agreed. So the fox, who had consented to act as judge, marked the distance and started the runners off. The hare was soon far out of sight. And to make the tortoise feel very deeply how ridiculous it was for him to try to run a race with a hare, he lay down beside the course to take a nap until the tortoise should catch up. The tortoise, meanwhile, kept going slowly but steadily and, after a time, passed the place where the hare was sleeping. But the hare slept on very peacefully. And when at last he did wake up, the tortoise was very near the goal. The hare now ran his swiftest, but he could not overtake the tortoise in time. The race is not always to the swift. Who do you think the main characters are? The bunny and the tortoise. Okay, so. What is, what do you think the problem is in this story? That the bunny was taking a nap. Do you think he was napping because he was tired or do you think he was napping because he thought he was better? Better. He thought he was better? Mm. So, and maybe the turtle was kind of slow, huh? What do you think the solution was? Mm. Do you think, did the turtle ever give up? No. No, he kept going, huh? Even. Mm. The turtle knew he was slow, mm -hmm. but he what? Won the race. He won the race because he kept got he kept what? Going. He kept going, so. He actually passed the race. He did. I was asking, what is the moral of the stories? A moral is a lesson or a truth learned from the fable, and the fable is the story. What what lesson do you think you can learn from this? that the turtle was keep going and I didn't even know that the turtle would keep going. Don't give up. Don't give up. So just keep going and believe in yourself, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're answering your questions about um, your fables, you can make a um, chart like this to write out all of your character elements so that it's easier for you to see what you've come up with for all of your questions and it's easier to understand the different parts of the fable and it's easier for you to act them out later which we might do hit subscribe and press the notifications yep and we hope you have a great week and take care see you next time bye bye